Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I'm going to start a tumbler today that I have no idea what direction it's going to go in. But I really want to do the tack it method using this IPP Micro Chill Vibes glitter. And I wanted to do it over silver, but I didn't want to do it on the bare stainless tumbler. So I prepped it and spray painted it silver. So I'm going to take my somewhat diluted tack it. I'm going to put a coat on. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. That's really thick. That's never going to dry. After this coat is dry, I'm going to do a second coat just another thin coat and then I will come back in for the glitter step and after that once I get a coat of glitter on I will figure out what decal I want to use I have a ton that I printed and sealed so but this has like a lot of rainbow to it so I'm gonna let it dry and then kind of see if I like any of these with it um, obviously not this one this is gonna get a green plaid but I'll see if I like any of them with it otherwise I'll go into my other supplies and see if there's something I like better so we'll be back when it is time for the glitter Okay, so this is pretty dry. I still have a couple not quite dry spots, but um, I'm kind of out of time. So I'm going to get this coated quick. Yes, I did just dump the entire jar to make the process fast. I'm going to bounce the bottom real quick. Alright, so I'm going to set this aside one second. I'm going to go ahead and do the alcohol trick this time because I'm in a little bit of a time crunch and it is a little bit quicker typically. Um, I don't know if any of my misters have alcohol, but I don't generally like the alcohol method, but we're going to do it. So get a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel. And use that to burnish your cup. I usually prefer to do it by hand. And when you do it by hand, it comes off dry and you can keep it in your dump cup if you want. This, because it's going to be wet with alcohol, any glitter that's coming off is just going to be trashed. So... And I do this once in a while because people ask why I don't do it this way. So. I'm going to flip my rag. Don't forget to do the bottom of the cup. around the rim. Just gonna run over it one more time. Now 
actually I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off the top rim, the inside and the rim, and then go back around it. Grab a fresh towel and just go over it once more. When you do the tack it method, you're actually just laying the glitter down flat, 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 and it leaves the holographic side. When you use a holographic glitter, like it leaves it really visible. So, that looks pretty good. You can tell when you look down the side whether your glitters are still sticking up or laying down. And you can kind of sometimes see them on the surface. But, I find the bottoms around the rim a little harder to burnish sometimes. But there you go. I'm going to let this sit overnight. Make sure the tack gets good and as dry as it gets. And we'll come back in for a coat of resin. And I had this decal sitting out. And I actually kind of think this might look really cute on here. With maybe some of my gold silhouette butterflies or maybe a chunky glitter sprinkled up from the bottom so we'll see i'll be back okay so this has its coat of epoxy on it it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm going to get my water slide on i'm gonna go with this never give up your daydream image i found on creative fabrica um, I just think the soft colors will look really good over this, hopefully. And once the water slide is dry, we're going to go ahead and put a coat of resin on it. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this My Little Pony glitter mix from Element OP over it. It has little four-sided stars in it and uh, just like lavender assorted glitter. Some of it like holographic silvery color, so... I think it'll look good over this, hopefully. It doesn't really matter where on this cup this goes because it's all the same. There we go. Really pretty. Just soft and subtle. That glitter shows through amazingly. So, we'll get it squeegeed out. We will let the water slide dry for a couple hours. This is a small one, so it won't take terribly, terribly long, but it might sit overnight. It's fine if it does. It looks pretty straight to me. So, I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back. Okay, time to get the epoxy and the glitter on this one. Let's get it turning. Wrong switch. Right switch. So I have some of my glitter. This is again My Little Pony from Element OP Design Boutique. I have that set out in a small cup already because that is a bagged glitter. And I'm just going to get my epoxy on first. So, I don't want a ton of glitter, so I'm just going to sprinkle it. 
kind of a little bit more at the bottom and getting a little looser as I go up. And this glitter is really just going to kind of blend in mostly, which is why I picked this one. So I think that's good. That's all I'm looking for. It's just a little something extra. So, I'm going to bring it up and let you see. Hopefully you can see some of that glitter. In the bottom. And that gorgeous holographic glitter that I started with. I'm so glad that caught my eye on the shelf because it came out beautiful. And never give up your daydream with the butterfly for my decal that I printed. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't tried Tack It yet, um, you know, go ahead and give it a try. Try it this method. Try it the burnishing by hand method. See what you prefer. Thanks. I will see you next time.